Okay, so since I got 99 Slayer now, I think it's time to clean up my bank a little bit. I have all of these Dragon Heights that are waiting to be tanned and then crafted into bodies. And, you know, then I'm gonna Alk them. It's gonna be quite a lot of money. And then I have a bunch of battle staves and rune items. You know, just leftovers from Slayer. And that's gonna be a lot of money. I am wondering if I can hit 10 million GP mark. Because for that I need, what, like 6.6 .6 mil right now. I kind of doubt it, but uh, it may happen. Okay, so the good thing about this is that I can tan, I think, somewhere in here, but I cannot find it now. Oh, there we go. You can see it's very close to the bank, so it's going to be like, wow, it's going to take like no time to tan all of those. That's why you unlock the access to Elf City. You know, this could be a very good money-making method. Like, it's just way too close to the bank. Though, I guess most of the people who have access to the city, uh are quite high level so they have better things to do than just 10 hides all day but you know if you don't have that much money you could check this out this could be a good money making method and this is going to be my last inventory and i gained 253,000 crafting experience in one hour by crafting just various hides i'm still gonna craft this one into uh fan braces but uh, right now I am finished, so these, actually I'm gonna pick everything up, everything that I want to sell or alg. So I have a preset of uh, dragon and rune items, and we're going to take dragon hide as well. Wow, I actually made bodies instead of shields? What? Okay, well anyway, we are going to price check that right now, and I hope it's gonna be at least 6.6 .6 mil. How the hell did I miss it by so much? Like, I was like, oh, it's 6 mil or something. Like, even, oh, okay. So not everything I will be able to alk, that's the thing. Like, these I'm gonna sell to the shop, obviously. I, I'm not alking 15,000 maple shield bows. So it's gonna be still over 10 million, unless I'm missing something else. It doesn't look like that. And this is going to be the last one, and the rest of them should go to the general store. So all of these maple longbows. Oh, that's gonna be like 1.5 mil, so I'm gonna max. Let's take all of the money off from the money pouch, and it's 15.6 million cash. Wow. So that's gonna be a lot of money for repairing weapons. Actually, I was also thinking about maybe training prayer in Elf City, where you can spend money and get prayer experience. It's actually, at the moment, for Soul Split, which is 92 prayer, I would need 40 million uh, cash. So that's expensive but if i wanted to i guess i could do that just for a few levels but at the moment nope and what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go to god wars because as you can see my melee stats are quite low so the way i could get them up is by getting a zami spear from a zami boss and i could kill frost dragons which at the moment i need approximately 5000 for soul split 92 prayer if i want to go for turmoil i'm gonna need a little bit more so this is my gear apparently for uh, Zami boss. Uh, apparently I'll have to switch it up a little bit because I don't have Chaotic Staff. And I do have Gunodermic now which does provide more bonus. That pack yak, look at that. Look at all these slots. Okay, so I just did a few trips and guess what I got. So the main goal was to get Zami Spear for Frost Dragon so I can get my melee stats up. What I got was Subjugation Boots, which was cool because I never had them before, so it's a new item in my bank, very nice. The second drop that I got was Subjugation Boots again. Okay, that's gonna be a placeholder in my bank, but you know, it's just Subjugation Boots, not that good. And then I got an Effigy, which was my last drop. I did not get anything else. And one of the trips lasted for almost 75 kills. Actually, it was over 75 kills. I think it was 80 kills that I did in one trip. That is a lot, considering I used to do like 20 kills a trip. So that's what uh, a Pakyak and a Unicorn can do. And a better armor, potions like Magic Potion and Super Defense Potion. Yeah, that, that, that is nice. So what I'm going to do right now, oh, wait, actually, I'm going to show you how many Zami kills I've done. I don't think this is normal, actually, but uh, <laughs> that's what I was fearing. When I started doing this, I remember like uh, two months ago, I said, what if I go 500 kills dry without a Zami spear? It's almost 500 kills dry. No Zami spear. Sucks. 468 kills. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do this. And I should get my hair blur. Yeah. 87, so four levels until overloads, beautiful. And I'm gonna also turn in one more challenge. 
That is a lot of experience, 200,000 for one challenge. Okay, I just realized I have some bodies in my bank that I forgot to alk. So this is gonna be an additional, what? 3.6 million, that's gonna be almost 20 million in my money pouch now. This is what you get uh, once you don't spend anything on summoning, you save up money. So before I end this video, I'm gonna go to Kingdom and we're gonna see, I think I've, it's been a week since I claimed my last reward. So I should have a lot of coal and I don't even know how much coal they usually give. That's actually not that much. Yeah. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be still something for my smithing. And I think at this point I'm gonna be ending the video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time then.